yeah, yeah, sure, Phil, sure. Hey, Phil, listen, you know me, and I know you. Nah, I didn't mean nothing by it. Hey, take it easy. Oh, Phil, take it easy. And hey, listen, tell Jimmy I said hello. Okay. I'm sorry. Goodbye. You sure this guy's all right? You, the guy's you good. check them out? Hey, here he is right here. Phil Nico. Nico Phil. So you're the guy who got jumped for a couple of million? Yeah. You're gonna pop me for it? <laughs> no, I've heard good things. Some odd friends, but you know, what are you gonna do? You're right. I've been keeping bad company. Oh, you mean this guy? He's okay. Well, he pays up, and uh, he ain't gone stage yet. Very funny, ha-ha. Uh -huh. Listen, we got a lot of missing money, and we got a problem with these fucking bikers. And I've got the problem finding someone. Yeah, I nearly got something on that. So we sent some of our boys after the money. Maybe you can deal with the bikers. Calm them down. They're causing trouble on the corner of Vauxite and Exeter. Sure. Otherwise, you and Raymond here got a serious problem. The boss has got to get paid. Even when people forget to tell them about things they're working on. I right, don't bust my balls. What's the point of talking about things unless they become real? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure you're sure, Phil. You of all people. Now, what the hell does that mean? Nothing. I mean, come on. You're a yeah, guy who yeah, knows what's yeah, what, yeah, right, yeah, Phil? Yeah, Take okay. it easy. Uh-huh. That thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. <laughs> what about them swingers? How's Marlene? The kids? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Hey, ciao. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we could talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the guy with the hat? No, the guy with the, you know, the but a beep and the poop. Yeah, the guy with the and the. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil. See, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're gonna ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look. Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours? Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Let's prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure, but Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it, no problem. Great, say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just asking. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Ugh. Come back here with that heroin! I've got the complaint about your driving, asshole. Hey, you my hey, house, guys? You got a place to sit. Phil, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present for my nephew, Frankie. Take it out to the big house off of Beaverhead Avenue. You know the one I mean. He'll be waiting there for you. Hey, you Frankie. Your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. 
I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia, and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after it. Nico, you're looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hardtack. He'll call you. Nico, I told Jimmy P about you. He wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead and West Dyke. Good day! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. It was by finding that shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pecorinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven horse, seven race, hey, Joe Phil. What? Hey, pal, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Wanna walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call for my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous! I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. No, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's... The slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. That'd be He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit, it's three days early. Man on the meal, what am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. You scan this thing for bugs? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're rat, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the docks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the enchiladas. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the Ancelotti's have a falling out. Then we make some money in the process by selling the stuff. 
Easy. Shit, you sound like you're saying all this just so it's clear on the wiretap. For the record, I don't know what this man is talking about. We're rehearsing a scene for an acting class. I work in waste management. Everything we're saying is fiction. It has no bearing in the real world. Watch it, Nico. Shit, you seen any choppers? Any birds been in the sky? I didn't pick you for a helicopter enthusiast. Fuck you, I ain't. I just keep thinking these choppers is following me, that's all. The feds are watching my every move. I flip out even when I'm outside. Keep your head. Things ain't even started yet. What are we doing? Taking a shipment of coke from some Russians before they can sell it to the enchiladas. I'm paranoid because we especially don't want to get caught on this one. We get caught and everyone will be coming after us. The feds will throw away the key. The Russians and the enchiladas know we was fucking them over. Hell, our own family might come after us for fear we'll turn states. Hey man, this familiarity is getting to me. I'm a friend of Ray's? I'm part of the family? Shit, man. I'm just the hired hell. I'm the fucking immigrant maid cleaning up your guy's shit. I ain't part of no family. I'm an independent contractor. Sure, sure, I get that. Whatever makes it all make sense in your head. Family's a way of saying we ain't gonna fuck each other. At least that's what it's meant to me. All I care about is that you're loyal enough to get the jobs done and not turn states. I'll get the jobs done if the money is there. And I ain't gonna turn states. Enough governments have let me down in the past. I don't know why I'd trust this one. That's the attitude. These guys promise you a new life if you screw every person who ever did a kind thing for you. Then they ship you off to Ohio and get you selling microwaves. There ain't no action, and the only cannolis you're gonna see are the ones on TV. It's all internet porn and dreaming about home. It ain't no life. Depends how you define life. All right, this is the truck. Why we need this truck? There must be a shitload of coke we're taking. It should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the sea. We should be able to turn up and have them load it up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone would give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked at. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of them. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't. And I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there is some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. They're gonna let us take the coke with this truck then, are they? That's the plan. Whether it works or not remains to be seen. You know something? I would've liked Ray to be on this job instead of me. But there's some things that he ain't trusted with. I don't think I'd trust him to send me on another job after the shit he had me doing. After all of that, you guys didn't even get the diamonds. <laughs> that wasn't a successful operation by any way you look at it. I'm hoping that this endeavor is gonna be more fruitful. For the record, I did everything I was meant to do. The problem was race planning and the amount of people involved. Too many people wanted that dice. No one was ever going to end up with it. Well, a lot of people want to get a hold of this merchandise as well. By your logic, that means it's going to end up dissolving into the Humboldt River. I don't want that to happen. Me neither. Maybe if we want it more than anyone else, we'll be able to hang on to it. It's going to take more than wanting it real bad. It's going to take a clear head. Ray's a greedy rat. He wants this stuff more than anyone else. But that don't mean he's going to get it. He's got his eyes on my position. The skip is too, I'm sure. Wanting it and getting it are two different things, though. Every move he makes is so obvious, it's disgusting to see him trying to sleaze his way up the ladder. His moves might be easy for you to see, but maybe they're working. Maybe he's getting somewhere. He definitely knows a lot of people. Shit, if anyone does start listening to Ray's shit, then I could be in some trouble. I'm hoping that day don't come. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Always there. 
they push me too far, they know what to expect. <laughs> Hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off! Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies! The stuff's still on those bolts. You better get them out of here. I'll take the one on the right, get the one on the left. Come on, move it, Nico. We're heading to the docks in North Holland. Move out. Handed yourself real good back then. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port Tudor. Factory off of Auger Street. The fucking Russians have got to Charlie Mateo. They told this top Ancelotti couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how the fuck they knew? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has but to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he choppers it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the enchilada's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this fat Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it. One lesson I've learned, Nico. Assume everyone knows everything. Somehow, chubby Charlie Mateo has found out it was us who ripped off the Russian coke. He is about to take a chopper into Algonquin to share that knowledge with the commission. You want me to take this fat man out before that happens? If you don't, then it'll be the Becarinos going to the mattresses with every one of the Liberty City families. Not only is we gonna be looking over our shoulders every two seconds, but we ain't gonna be able to earn. Well, I'll do my best to shut him up then. Great, I gotta go get notice so I ain't a suspect. All right, now the way I seize it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. This 
decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later. You don't need to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care I'll now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But Phil, and I don't mean to take advantage, but maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean, I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting on. It's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully, any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy. He can disappear real easy if the feds show. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife, and she was smart enough to ruin my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough. You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces. If none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want. Okay, I had word from Frankie, my nephew, that no one's been paying undue attention to the age we took off the triads. We're gonna go pick it up. I thought that was a wedding present for your nephew. He's my nephew through my ex-wife. I might give him work sometimes, but I ain't gonna give him this load of horse. He wants anything except a bit of muscle work? He can ask the bitch to take it out of the divorce settlement. Fucking cunt. You had, uh, any more girlfriends since the ex-wife? If you're getting smart about seeing Angie at my place, then you can button it. The two of us is just friends. We talk. We both gotta take a lot of shit from Jimmy, and it helps to speak about it. I wasn't making no accusations. Yeah? Well, that's something that Ray likes to run his mouth about. Ray runs his mouth so much that no one pays much attention to what comes out of it. <laughs> I'd believe it. I'd be dead already if Jimmy P listened to anything he said about me. If only the feds knew how full of shit most wise guys were, then maybe you wouldn't have such problems with people turning states. The feds know that wise guys run their mouths. They love it. The feds don't care if he's taking someone down on a legitimate beef or if it's total bullshit. As long as he can get his face in a newspaper and a blowjob from his wife, he's happy. Fucking feds. There you are. Frankie, you been keeping your eyes open out here? You seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The feds have been watching us all along! Nico, get in that car and follow me! Hey! 
Briggs! Are you fucking blind? You don't know this to 50 feds watching these cars. I thought Phil was just paranoid. Give me a break, man. I got a lot on my mind, you know? I didn't have much time to scope this out. My ma's kinda sick. I've been looking after her. And my sister? I've been putting her through college. Shut up! These feds are all over me. I'm sorry, man. It's just, I only got married the other day. God, I love that kid. You wanna see a picture? I don't want to see a fucking picture. I'm trying to get us out of this situation. Maybe then you can spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. You deal with the feds, Nico! Nico, they're all over us. We're, we're ditching the cars and going on foot. Park up behind me when I stop. All right. Nico, grab the stuff from the trunk and follow me. I got a van we could use. More fucking bacon shit! Come on, Nico, chop fucking chop! Hurry this shit up! over here. ain't flipping me if I'm caught, and they better not flip you either. Damn, this is a wild ride. I didn't think I was gonna come out of that one. You're fucking lucky that you did. Lucky any of us did. Don't I know it, Phil. I should have seen him. I've been telling Nico I got a lot on my mind. Next time, mind on the job. This ain't a fucking joke. You got a wife, you got a ma, don't play around with your life. Don't play around with other people's lives either. I don't want to take a bullet or a stint in the pin for anyone else's fuck up. Gets harder every time. What is this shit? My car! All right, guys. Shit. I'm sorry. Nico. You've done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in the safe place. You're damn right. You have got to be Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Begarino family's head above water. See you around. Hey, 
you guys that can't even think out, straight. Yeah, he's think there he you. is. Welcome to the war council, my boy. Gentlemen, what's going on? Nothing. Discussing pest control. Well, I've given you my advice, Peg. You do what you think is best. I agree. Finally. I mean, I don't agree with what he says. I agree that you know best. Excuse me? Relax. I didn't mean nothing by it. Look, either we make the right call or we all end up in prison anyway. Well, your crap ain't gonna do me no favors. Be careful. I'll see you later. Boss, gentlemen. You're only an associate, Phil. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tough Boss, guy. I gotta tell you this. He's not straight. Right before I came in here, I saw him talking to Angie again. You better leave. Uh, I need to speak to Nico. Sure, boss. But, uh, think about what I said. I will. You know? Trust me on that. We got real problems. Police are all over us. Maybe you heard. I got served papers today. Phil yesterday. We got a couple of boys in jail. I think they might squeal. Somebody's talking. Wants us out of the picture. Maybe John Gravelli. Or them Ancelotti's. Somebody got to my people. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I gotta shut someone up and show people I mean business. I've known Phil a long time. He's straight, more or less. I know him and Angie are friends, but that don't worry me too much. Hmm. Maybe he's too straight. Then there's Ray. I don't know. I don't trust him. But he's a good earner. I know he's got his eye on the big prize. But he's no dummy. Him and Phil hate each other. I gotta think about it. Okay. I'll give you a call. Whoever I say to go see, go see him. And shut him up! Do it, or you and me are gonna have a problem. Look, Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you, down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? All right there, Phil. Seen any choppers or submarines or anything? We're going to Port Tudor. Let's move. Dimitri's giving the buyer the H while we pick up the money. We'll get a call from him when they have the stuff. Then the buyers will hand over the funds. Couldn't be simpler. How come everything we get into starts off simple and ends up real complicated? Well, at least I don't have to see that weasel Dimitri in the flesh. Yeah, I met him when Jimmy P set up the deal. There's something about him I don't trust. He ain't someone I'd work with more than once, no matter how much he's earning us. That's a smart move. I worked with him and he double-crossed me. Showed me out to someone I had history with. I nearly got killed. And I never thought I'd cooperate with him again. <laughs> money makes people do the strangest things, don't it? This is just a straightforward money pickup. Dimitri is going to hand over the H on his end, then we're going to get a call saying we're good to go. They'll hand over the cash, and we're out of there. I don't think anything is straightforward, especially when you've got a snake like Dmitry Raskolov working with you. Something didn't look right about him. I don't know, there was something in his eyes. If you thought that Ray was slippery, <laughs> Dmitry is a different level. At least you knew what Ray was after from day one. Dmitry can turn on his best friend in a second. So? Why are you working with him again? Sometimes it ain't worth sacrificing a paycheck for personal differences. I'm after the money, not revenge. Hey, are you guys here to pick up the cash? That's right. Where is it? When we get word that the brown is good, we'll give up the cash. You just head into the compound and wait for us to give you the nod. I cannot say I have the same enthusiasm for this partnership. 
Have you given them the H? I want to get this money and go home. You know what? I thought, why should we hand over the H for this price? I thought it'd be easier if I just killed those guys and kept it. Easier for who? What the fuck are you doing? Me and Phil are in their compound. What's going to happen when they find out? If I was you, I'd go and get the money off them. It has to be on the site. That way we all win. Good luck, Nico. Fucking Dimitri. He's killed the guys collecting the stuff. Shit, we're screwed. They ain't gonna let us leave. All right, if we're fighting, we're fighting for the money. We got to jump on them right now. Follow me. Up on the roof, Nico. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on inside. Stick close to me, Nico. All right, the money's in there. Once we're in, it's all or nothing. Let's go then. Come after me. Let's go! Just me and you! Say cheese, motherfucker. Get is getting away with the money. I ain't coming to to let it go. Come on! I don't care what falls in our path, we are getting the cash! He's not keeping that money! We need that money! I am going to think about Dimitri when we kill this man with our money. I did not kill those men to have this stuff stop me getting the cash. You're right on him! We have to kill a lot of men for this money. It's rightfully ours. Get him, 
Nico? This is not going to stop us getting the money. Where is he going with our money? Get after him! Come on, Nico! Get that motherfucker! Watch that fucking hump! He's about to come in! Get the right on him! We got it! Thank fucking God. That certainly wasn't simple. Fucking Dimitri, I ain't never been put in a situation like that before. I guess you get used to it when you hang around with him long enough. If they'd gotten tipped off before Dimitri called us, we would have been fucked. It would have been an execution. Dimitri likes to set up executions. He set up his best friend, Mikhail Thorsten. You gonna kill him then? No, it's over for me. I'm out. If I was going to kill him, I would have done that instead of this deal. Now I got the money and I'm going to forget all about this shit. Good luck to you, man. I hope it works out. At least we got the cash. That's the one thing we could bring away from this fucked up situation. I learned the lesson. I learned that people don't change. If they're going to fuck you over once, they'll fuck you again. <laughs> Wish I realized that before. Had you learned that then, you wouldn't be sitting pretty on a load of green right now, would you? That's true, Phil. It's never fucking easy, is it? You can't just walk in somewhere and get free money. You always have to work for it. You think you can get in this work for an easy buck, but you end up in deep shit every time. I'm out. This was the last one. I'm taking my money and staying out of this shit. I heard that song before. Maybe it'll work out for you. Good luck. Thanks, Nico. I can't think of anyone else I would have preferred to have with me in a spot like that. I just wish I hadn't been put in that position. Keep safe and enjoy the money. Ciao. I did what I had to do. Anyway, you and me can't talk no more. Jimmy's falling apart. The Pegarinos ain't nothing no more. I'm out, man. Goodbye. Shit, the bastard's dead. This is one more reason for my ex-wife to hate my guts. He was her nephew, man. He fucked up. Us unloading the H was his call. You don't need to blame yourself. Ray's gonna be pleased about this. He's been trying to bang Frankie's wife ever since they got married. Poor girl, she ain't got much hope left now. Don't think about it. He fucked up today and he paid the price. Admittedly, it was a high one. You and me are only here today because we didn't make the fuck up that Frankie did. <laughs>